What's going on internet people? Renex Hello here. Today in this video, we are going to talk about SSL Fusion Violet EQ. It's one of the SSL native series from Solid State Logic Company from England. When I saw this plugin for the very first time, I really fell in love with it just in a second, especially for the GUI. It will make me stay inspired and not feeling sleepy when mixing a song. Before we start, I'd like you guys to follow all of my social media and subscribe to my YouTube channel because it's totally free, isn't it? So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, we have to visit the website Solid State Logic Oxford England, solidstatelogic.com, and then you'll be directed to this page, to their shop page, and then you choose. There are uh, there are lots of native plugins that they have, and you can see the GUI really inspiring. Yeah, it's pretty beautiful and elegant. And then we choose uh, SSL Fusion Violet EQ plugin here. It's modeled after the SSL Fusion hardware, and it's got a hundred ninety ninety nine bucks. And let's write this: low end weight, high end sheen. The Violet EQ is a two-band minimum phase shift shelving EQ from the critically acclaimed Fusion Stereo Analog Color Processor. It is the first new solid-state logic analog EQ design in more than 25 years and is now available for UDAW. Wow, really? And this and there's a video here, and then uh, there are some key features here. It's modeled on the SSL Fusion Violet EQ processor, this one. And then, first new SSL analog EQ circuit for more than 25 years. Oh really? I wasn't born yet. Carefully selected frequencies and response curves includes the high-pass filter from the SSL Fusion hardware unit for switched frequency points and plus or minus 9 dB attenuation. New FAT button at subtle OOM to the low end when the high pass filter is switched in. Eco mode dropped into. And then Eco mode drop into Echo mode for reduced latency and CPU use for tracking and recording purposes. Oh, so, so if we are doing a live recording, we should turn on this, this mode, eco mode. Okay, so, um, modeled using a combination of real-life measurement, analog circuit designs, and close collaboration with the original analog designers of the SSL Fusion hardware and validated by real-world producers. Built on the SSL plugin engine, and this is the new one, built-in help. Simply click the question symbol and mouse over the GUI for more information about each of the parameters. SSL's cross-platform preset management and APing system, built-in undo and redo support, comes with presets from world-class producers and engineers Adrian Hall, Sean Devine, and Wes Clark. Okay, so let's now move on to the DAW. Oh wait, if you need a manual guide, you can download from this page, Documents and Download, and then press the SSL Violet EQ Plugin User Guide. And then if you want to download this plugin and try it, you can download it in the, in the below in the bottom on this page. SSL Fusion Violet Plugin for Windows, and this is this one for Mac. This is the manual. So this is how it looks. Then vintage drive. Oh, yeah. Oh, the, it's the middle part of the SSL Fusion hardware. And then there is a input meter, input trim, input knob, and then output knob, then output meter, 
then this is the high pass filter oh it it's maxed on 50 hertz and then get fat fat at subtle um to the low end when the yes, by introducing a subtle resonance around the cut of frequency okay and then low shelf low shelf and bypass high shelf number nine this is a plugin engine undo and redo blah 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 blah, blah eq mode yeah we we have known this and okay so let's now move on to the daw so this is the lo-fi session that i've been working on for my youtube tutorial video also we are going to try to listen what fusion violet eq sounds like on piano bass pads drums group also kick snare clap hi-hat timpani percussion and many other instruments so i've prepared everything here i've installed the fusion violet eq on every instruments i'd like you guys to listen grab a coffee and enjoy this video okay so let's give it a try Okay, so let's now try to adjust the EQ. As you can hear, the fat button here makes the sounds really fat, but just a little. Alright, so that's the sound of Fusion Violet EQ on piano with these settings. So let's now try the echo mode. Basically, you can use this echo mode for live recording or tracking so that it will reduce your latency. Moving on to the bass.
Honestly, I really like the sound on the bass because it gives a lovable distortion or color. Let's now try on the pad. Yeah, as you can hear, it doesn't really affect the sound of the pad, but certainly it gives a distortion in a subtle way. Now let's moving on to the kick. As I'm listening through my headphone, it makes the sound of the kick a little bit more rounded and fatter. Moving on to the high frequency snare. So this EQ doesn't really affect the high frequency. So let's now try it on the rim snare. And once again, it doesn't really affect on the high frequency of instrument. Moving on to the snap. It gives a little bit breath on the high frequency of the snap and what I like about this EQ, it doesn't sound harsh.
The snare sounds really fat. I think I've adjusted too much. But I think it's okay, it's just for a tutorial purpose. Now the last one is the percussion. Shaker. Moving on to the open hat. Alright, we're done here, so let's now listen to the full song. Yeah, as we can hear, my track sounds really fat because I turned down the fat button on every track. I'd like to listen to how it sounds like if we push it too hard because I wonder why people so admiring this plugin. Okay, so that's all my review today. If you guys have any question about it, you can leave your question in the comment section below and I'll hit you on the spot later. Also, let me know what you think about this plugin. And before you leave, I'd like you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow all of my social media. Once again, thanks for watching, see you on the next video.